All right, this is Prison TV again. My name is Desiree, and uh, I am here with my friend, as usual. How you doing, Shadow? I'm pretty good, Desiree. How are you doing today, man? Um, very good, very good. The weekend was good, and um, uh, yeah, we 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 pretty much uh, new day, new I mean, week, new show. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's get uh, hit our road and uh, come back again to our episode number three. Uh, I think it's gonna be talking about basically on the immigration, of course. Uh, but today we will be now focusing on what, what's what happening when you got here in the U.S. <laughs> yeah, of course, we're gonna have to. Uh, talk about mainly on the settlement of immigrants when they get to the u.s but we need i think we have a bit of information we need to share first before we hit the main topic what is it desiree uh the main information was from the previous show uh it was basically to inform uh, what happened to those people who just got in the u.s and mm -hmm. they end up feel like i'm not um, no longer safe to go back to my country and then they uh, decide to apply for the asylum oh basically that's why we're going to show just in a bit as we just hit Mm -hmm. They go bad on, uh, yeah, yeah, on the yeah. typical ba show. Yeah, basically, yeah, w what happened, it's like you are coming here uh, in the U.S., either you are visiting or you, you came in your way. I, I don't know, there's uh, too many ways that you can show up and get here to you in the U.S. And then what happened is... Let's say probably you are very worried mm -hmm. of yeah, going, going back. back, or you have some uncertainties. You feel like, yeah, hey, I need to go away or to stay away from this. Yeah, yeah. Then that's when you decide. The U.S. government say that uh, within one year you have to decide if yeah. you applied for uh, your asylum because if you are more than one year in the U.S., then it's rarely that your asylum will be accepted. So anytime, uh, I I think. I think I gotta have uh, like a couple of questions to ask you on that topic. You guys, uh, who is just following or just trying to hit and uh, watch this show, we have previous episodes. You guys, you can just hit uh, mm -hmm. that subscription button yeah. and then hit the bell of notification as well. That's I right. think you can still watch the previous sessions of this show. So, there's like you saying, after passing <clears throat> warning in the US, you can apply for your uh, asylum uh, applications. Mm -hmm. So, um, there are some people that come here like different times. Or maybe they come for school, they go back, then they get a chance to come back. Mm -hmm. Could they still apply for the asylum? Uh, that situation, it's a uh, uh, different situation because if you have a student visa, yeah. uh, you are legally basically here. Yeah. Uh, unless your visa is expired, yeah. so that's <laughs> when basically you end up feeling so, like, I am going to apply. Yeah. Uh, but until you have the, your active uh, student visa, uh, you are legally here because not, nothing will stop you. you know, nobody will stop you. Okay. Of course, you cannot just work whatever you want because you don't have a work authorization. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. just here as a student, not as, a, in, uh, as like a random uh, green card holder or any legal uh, immigrant who is living in the U.S. I think that makes sense. And then... Uh, within that year let's say you just submit your applications what happens next when you submit your application you have to wait until certain month depend on depends on your situation or your case mm -hmm. that's when the uh the uscis will revise your case and uh, uh call you for the courts just yeah. to see if what you said you have a proof of it all right guys ladies and gentlemen this is just specifically when you learn the u.s and then mm -hmm. you submit your application application within 12 months not more than 12 months of your stay in the u.s and desiree uh, mm -hmm. is this <clears throat> asylum application granted is it like is there a guarantee that it'll be approved <laughs> <laughs> what happens no man yeah. no that's there is no proof there is no guarantee, guarantee that <laughs> you are approved yeah. basically when you have asylum you are approved bro you should even do a party you should invite your friends because Dang, this, okay. this these are the kids that are that are very rarely to be yeah. happening to somebody mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, because uh, the reason why these questions, guys, is because uh, it it might be easier to get the visa to come to the U.S., mm -hmm. but also deciding to stay and get like real paperwork to stay as a permanent mm -hmm. resident may be also take another journey or or high mountain journey. 
So yeah, basically another thing that people have to know is uh, uh, make sure you have a proof. Make sure you have a concrete real uh, reason proof to supporting yeah. uh, documents that you're gonna use to your case. Yeah. Uh, because when you have a supporting documents to your case, yeah. the judge we see this, we be like, what, oh yeah, that's true. What type of documents or supporting documents are you talking about here? Uh, no, that we go uh, along with your case. If yeah. if probably you say that uh, my my government, uh, they are looking for me because of this. You need to prove at least one uh, one round. Probably they try to chase you out once. Yeah, or maybe you hunting there, you down. Hunting there is evidence, or maybe there was some notice, mm-hmm. or like you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. someone giving like, hey, this is a head a heads up. You're my friend. I think it's, it's time to escape, or something like that. Exactly. That there, there's too too many supporting documents. The, Depends yeah. on your specific case. All right, all right, guys. So from this type of case, I think that's the main information. Like people could just try to consider if you are certain type of that category trying to stay mm-hmm. in the U.S. Uh, and then another thing that Jado, uh, yeah, that go ahead. W- once you have your asylum, mm-hmm. basically you are legally now uh, in the U.S. You can uh, you already now it comes with the benefit. They yeah. give you the employment card right away. You can work. You can uh, now feel like now you are You're in the US. In the country you can do anything mm-hmm. you can apply for the loans you can apply for the mortgages anything anything everything. okay, Be- okay. because you are now legally living in the US no hustles of like employment applications you know mm-hmm. no no yeah. no no it's like you can apply anywhere because you have a, a work authorization right away that makes sense and then uh, so that's the right settlement of this kind of a person so let's mm-hmm. go to the full settlement of immigrants and uh, previously we have talked about uh, green card holders when yeah. they land in the US we talked about refugees landing in the US mm-hmm. so how do we get settled because this this society or this environment is too way far from us yeah. depending on our backgrounds and all that so how do we catch up how do we so settle down so basically uh all those type of immigrants are different even in terms of resettlement. Let, let's mm-hmm. say, for instance, if you are a green card holder, when you are coming, like you, Shadow, <laughs> uh, you, you, you have to find your uh, host. Your yeah, host yeah, yeah. have to be ready for you. Yeah. Uh, once your host is ready to show you around, to mm-hmm. probably introduce you to his friends, probably he can even uh, find you a job because you are legally, right, the yeah. same day you arrive, in the US tomorrow the next day you can go to work obviously yeah, because yeah. you have everything you need to work yeah mm-hmm. so yeah. That, that, that's a for a green card yeah, for, yeah that's uh, some information so maybe I'll just like share a bit of like you know some of these information as a green card holder you already have your uh, your um, your host the information and everything the address you have given to the uh, USCIS mm-hmm. now you're landing on the first day in the US some things may happen here you have the envelope, sealed envelope from the U.S. Embassy. Mm-hmm. Once you land in the U.S., the Homeland Security is going to take that envelope. So that time you may say, hey, I think the address I put in the envelope have changed. That mm-hmm. means like your host has moved or you have found a new host, but you didn't mention this mm-hmm. when you're doing the interview back in your country. So now you, you have to tell them right away so they could just make a note that they change that when it, while you land in the U.S. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that, yeah because... People they, have to know this. They have to know, and this is the main address they're going to send you a green card in. And another thing is uh, your green card mostly is going to be delivered within 30 to 60 days Starting yeah, on the day you arrived. Arrive, yeah, starting mm-hmm. on, the, on, the, on the first date you arrived in the U.S. Mm-hmm. So, and then, hold, like... Let's say you move to your host. I think from my experience, the first thing you have to know is like getting like the advanced information mm-hmm. about how things are done, regulations, basic needs you need, basic information you need. The basic information you need is just simple like, hey, how can I get like a job? Just like a simple job that can keep me moving, right? Mm-hmm. And how do I access the internet? You That's know, to right. Achieve some information. That's right. And who are the people should I connect with? Like, mm-hmm. who will be the main source of the information? Networking for the green card holders, even uh, people like whoever r- arrives in this country. You will find this book we shared in the previous episodes. M one M one hundred one hundred sixty eight. If I'm not wrong, yeah. You will find all the informations of like you know different agencies where you'll find this information. So either education, health uh, services, public transportation access, and all this. Because your host will give you 
some basic informations your host but your host will be busy yeah some yeah, people don't yeah. be like very busy during the weekends working day and night so it will be so, hard so basically people doesn't have to just to sit down and put your hands in the yeah. pocket feeling that yeah. your host will do everything for you you yeah. you have to know that you need to know at least the map of your city it's it's a yeah. best idea yeah. uh, to know exactly where you can catch up with the bus where you can uh, probably go to the store because yeah, you yeah. might need something to eat exactly. or something you may need to cook just or simple yeah. thing that that's for someone who just arrived someone yeah. who is coming for his first or second uh second months so here is the thing right uh, maybe you may hear like hey, telling you to access the internet feels something very simple let me give you just a hint of an uh, <laughs> of an example right or a testimony when i landed here in the us was on tuesday right it's mm-hmm. a working day and even getting out of the airport was crazy but my friend uh, my host was very friendly so he picked me up from there and then we landed home so yeah, it, it was me by the way <laughs> <laughs> probably right yeah people were just watching us so just so what happens in the next day right when you come to the US you have to have a basic knowledge you have to have a smartphone that works very best because the phones are going to be expensive mm-hmm. here mm-hmm. and the following day I bought the SIM yeah, card yeah that, that's a good thing that yeah. you remind them the phone is now yeah. it's not free or it's not even <laughs> cheap because if you have your phone yeah. please bring it with you because a, a you're going to need it will work, yeah, yeah. yeah it's so going to work the following day I bought a sim card because the e- sim card has like data or the internet connectivity mm-hmm. so i had to because I, ha- i didn't know where exactly to go so i had to to google everything and i had to do, i had to buy a uh a public transport transportation Fishing card, card yeah. yeah the card was for th- uh, 30 days one month so my host couldn't just drive me everywhere and mm-hmm. another thing is people yeah, guys, yeah because i was busy <laughs> working <laughs> of course. they have to put yeah. in the mind because yeah. that host has a job that yeah. host has a family yeah. or sometimes has something else to do he's yeah, not going to yeah, yeah, do yeah. Yeah. everything and for you the main the main thing is that uh, this host is driving himself so you also going to need to buy a car that's true if you want to get a good job if you want to go move from point a to point b and people you need to learn how to drive from your country bro bro i w- <laughs> i wish i wish if you if you are planning yeah. to come yeah. please make sure if you have uh let's say probably a property or something of the value yeah, yeah you can save that money because even if it's two thousand dollars or three thousand dollars it will seven, help you yeah. to buy your first car in the u.s and yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's the main tool that you can have to to do anything here in the yeah, u.s fa- fast forward so I had to catch up with the information so I learned myself how to catch the bus by my host though took me took me on the first trip of the bus mm-hmm. <laughs> so but it was a very short trip but other days I had to follow up my what, own. What, basically what else they have to know before they land before they are coming they know tomorrow they are going yeah. to US what else they 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 have to be ready for what was they still in their country so while they're in their country they also have to know like uh what they want to pursue in the US mm-hmm. what the career they want to do what what do you want to do in the US when you get there you want to be a uh, film producer you want to be a presenter you want to be a software developer you want to be a cyber security analyst you want to be all these things by the time you get here of course you're going to have to hustle a little bit because mm-hmm. do you know the reason to why you need to do like even the shitty jobs is because the US is not going to grant you a financial aid for your education before passing a whole year in the state yeah, so you I, need to be a resident <laughs> in the state yeah i think you are jumping so, uh simple steps yeah we, we, so, we're now going so, all the way to school uh, yeah because like <laughs> I, i'm mentioning this because maybe i'm trying like to catch up with time it's mm-hmm. because even if you have that uh uh career dreams you what you have like you have in your mind mm. once you get there once you get here it's not gonna just work out you no, know no, so you're no. gonna have to take first thing like shitty jobs small jobs so ba- and then yeah basically jado what what you are trying to say it's yeah. don't put your mind even if you are a doctor or software yeah. developer over there in your country mm-hmm. don't think like once you get here you're going to get the same oh, job it's gonna work so out. so yeah. that's a uh, very different yeah. once you get here put in your mind that the first job you're going to get it's 
you're not gonna like it. It's it's gonna be a first job uh, because at the end of the day, nobody trusts your documents. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They have to know and, it. They have to see and, it. They have to verify. And the Americans, this country, this this country, like you know, it's very sufficient on itself, right? Mm-hmm. And also, there are very small details that they're gonna hit you in terms of the process, right? So mm-hmm. you're gonna have to lay back a little bit until you fulfill these kind of information. That's right. Uh, we have another uh, Precision TV follower. Uh, I think her name is Gloria. Uh, she yeah. sent us a good, uh, detailed Very good questions. compliment where, questions. Where, where she was asking like, guys, tell us basically what challenges what challenge that, that we we started with the challenges because yeah. if you know the challenges before you come here it's going to make you it's going to make your way very safe uh, that's why jado was saying yeah. like be ready if you have a phone please bring it with you it's going to work here if you have some money make sure you have at least some savings because it might help you not only to buy your first car, but it might help you even before you get a job, you need to survive. You need to eat before you go to anywhere. You need a a transportation. It's very, very important. And one more thing, if you want to feel like uh, we are talking about a green card holder, make sure you communicate with your uh, with your host because communication it's a number one don't feel like okay he, he already know or whatever so basically have a good relationship with your host it's gonna make <laughs> your life very yeah. easier i was trying to review uh some of the glorious comments it okay, was a very ahead. detailed uh very interesting comment but i'm gonna have to pick up only two crucial uh questions okay. she mentioned yeah. she just said hey uh, like you guys is it possible to get a job and if not what about under table jobs and what oh, does it require yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let, let's respond to that one uh yeah, <laughs> yeah it's yeah. uh it's it's possible it's possible yeah. especially in texas you can get uh, under table job yeah. and uh because there are always some jobs that does no really re- require documents yeah. so you can have the uh, under table job and they're gonna pay you the same day they're not gonna, gonna pay, pay you cash you know, yeah. after a whole week it's, after it's, two it's weeks, gonna yeah. be a check or a cash by yeah. the same day or maybe next day if yeah. it's a job that we take you like a, a, a week yeah so they can pay you a week because you you've been there for seven days mm-hmm. but if it's one one day they're gonna pay you uh, the yeah. same day yeah okay so the second question is like how can you integrate into school easily without having the papers hey. is it even possible <laughs> if not what <laughs> are the requirements yeah you go that's a good hey. question yeah, exactly. if you don't have paperwork yeah. documents then you can't go to school just like that yeah it's, you can't. You it, cannot work in the school. No, you. It's with the school. It's not gonna work because yeah. let's say you attend school in Iraq, um, somewhere in your university or somewhere uh, in your high school, or someone from Africa. Maybe you were in Senegal, or maybe you were in Rwanda or Congo. Basically, make sure you bring all your documents yeah. with you. Either the transcripts, either the your degrees. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure you bring everything belongs to your degree or belongs to your education purpose yeah. because at the end of the day you're gonna even need it for your uh, resume for yeah, your exactly. job yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so with school make sure you have it because without document you can't go to school you're gonna start over yeah you're gonna have to if you want to yeah, yeah, yeah if you want to go to school for real and you don't have a document then you're gonna start over mm-hmm. that's it that that's a good answer for for her yeah, exactly. And another thing maybe to add on this is because there isn't why we have to talk about school here. Schools are very expensive in the U.S., but also we have community colleges that can help you guys move up. But the whole, the whole thing you need is like this school, they cannot pay it out of pocket every year. So this one you're going to have to spend in mm-hmm. in the state is going to help you to become a resident and you apply for financial aids for school attendance right yeah for someone who want to know more about financial aid or going to school let's say you have all your documents you have all your paperwork uh, probably we're gonna uh, invite a specialist about this but from what we uh know from our experience since we are students uh it's very easy once you have one year in the city Mm -hmm. make sure you don't move 
Yeah, don't come here. Don't and come here. here. And then uh, you, you landed in Austin. <laughs> I think we have a very good job in Wisconsin. Come over here. They're yeah, it's this not much. gonna work. It's you know, not good. You get there, say, hey, how are you? We are having this kind of job. Move over. Oh no, oh, man, no, it's no. Take ages. If you are planning to go to school, make sure you are staying the same area because mm-hmm. uh, if you are moving tomorrow in Ohio, uh, next day you go Michigan, and then next day you go uh, uh, Texas, <laughs> then you are losing your residency status yeah, yeah. because uh, universities here mm-hmm. count on your residency to give you the yeah. price yeah. so you are probably giving yourself too much price yeah. it's still, <laughs> it's still yeah. of you and, staying and also in one place different, different interest rates mm-hmm. on your loans mm-hmm. yeah. so stay there once the one year is complete you can apply for school then within the school they're gonna have a, they, they will give you all the steps within your admi- uh, admission oh, man. I think that's then, that's the full details of all these things mm-hmm. uh, all these questions Gloria had asked yeah. I think we try to believe I mean, we believe we, we have responded like almost 80% of her questions. Yeah. And you guys keep hitting uh, the button below and just leave us the comments. Yeah, to, if, if you have, want to hear more next, what should yeah. we talk about next? Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. let's move on. And um, we also have like our different type of uh, immigrant uh, resettlement. Yes. What is it? Uh, we have a refugee coming to US. Uh, those uh, immigrants as well, they have their own way of resettlement. Yeah. Uh, for them, I would yeah. say it's much easier because, uh, first of all, before you hit, they uh, don't need a host. No, no, you don't need a host. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna, you already have a place where you're gonna stay. Yeah. Before they tell you to come, yeah. uh, before you land, mm-hmm. uh, basically you have a place. Either you have your apartment ready for you with your family, or probably you have a hotel, a nice hotel yeah. where you're gonna stay. Mm-hmm. But once you are here, you will have a, an agency. Uh, that will help you uh, to get resettled in the city where you're going to mm-hmm. live. Yeah. Uh, with that, they're going to give you all the basic needs mm-hmm. to survive for in For how the long? US. They provide you for how long? Uh, this might depend on our state from another one, uh, mm-hmm. specifically with the time as well. Yeah. As, uh, as the time is going, the time is going also down. <laughs> uh, I remember in 2012, yeah. they might even keep you for six months yeah. if you don't have a job yes if you don't have a job they, so they keep giving you like, yeah. like some stipends to mm-hmm. live they, on for yeah yeah months. they still give you some uh food stamp uh just to buy food or yeah. survive they can give you some cash money to buy yeah. some uh the food stamps, are they uh, cr- uh credit cards for foods yeah, basically it's a kind card. Of, it's a card yeah. where you can go buy. This only card food. is just you just take it to the store, to the grocery store. You can buy food, then you use that card to get the groceries, right? Basically, mm-hmm. yeah. You you can't buy beer on that, and you cannot yeah, nah. even <laughs> buy uh, like a restaurant food. No, yeah. that, that that's just for food for you to cook yeah. and eat. Groceries to cook and. Uh, you, once you are there, they're going to teach you how to ride uh, buses. They're going to teach you how uh, to go to the store. They're going to teach you how probably work with your landlord at the, the apartment complex. Mm-hmm. They're going to make you sign the lease. Yeah. Uh, they're not going to sign the lease for you. You're uh, going to sign it on yeah, your behalf. You have to sign in on your on your own because Basically, that you means, are responsible. That means being responsible for this rent house. Yes, yeah. yes. And then once you have a job uh, they require you to have a job at least in three months of your arrival so once you have your job started getting paid uh, basically they start reducing uh, any cash assistance okay so any stipends they're trying to provide at this point now is being reduced reduced yeah yeah Yeah. for for your first months working or second months then depends on how many people in your home working then they can even cut off all the assistance Okay. for the first three months yeah. but sometime it, it depends on the people you might even get a job within your one month uh, yeah. second months yeah. then once you are making some money then they're going to reduce any so, cash uh, uh, my, my question to this point is uh, you already have these informations when you come and then they show you like the basic informations basic you know activities like you should do like you know uh, catching the bus getting stipends going to the store yeah I'll so f- 
once you once once you have all these informations let's say you have a different request right you want to mm-hmm. go to school all these things we are talking about the green card holders how do they apply for you guys or for these kind of people trying to get here and then get like you know a broader life of the US citizens oh basically once you are here as a refugee like i told you you have everything ready for you mm-hmm. apartment or anywhere to stay they uh there is a employment program mm-hmm. that they put you in and then they teach you how the employment uh, uh employment uh programs work here in the US they teach you all the benefits that you can get from working uh they teach you how you can stay and being uh able to uh, to, to keep the same job within at least six months of yeah. your arrival because yeah. it's not good to go to this job different tomorrow jobs, then jobs, yeah. yeah yeah that's not good then once you are you know they they basically they have education program yeah. where they teach you about employment mm-hmm. where they teach you about uh social where you live yeah. the american culture they teach you that even before you get to us in wow. order for you before to you land to this least, country they yeah, teach even before yeah yeah at least to know uh, uh something about the yeah. culture of the country where you are going mm-hmm. and the, another thing that they provide very very good they they, they provide english as a second language for, for the, free. yeah for free for for those who want to learn it basically it's even mandatory you have to attend those classes yeah. in order to get the benefit <laughs> is there someone supervising your attendance uh yeah <laughs> what, what 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 if if your case worker is, yeah. is seems uh, very serious. probably serious yeah. and you are not attending anything gonna ask you, it's going to be a problem because hey, Jado, have you attended your class today what was the assignment what did you discuss no nobody <laughs> will <laughs> ask you that man okay. <laughs> it's okay. very simple it's okay. very simple okay. friendly especially Mm. case workers are very nice people yeah. they know how to deal with the people that yeah. i think they went to school for this and they yeah. make uh, they make you feel good yeah. so it's not like uh it's it's not a hassle you, you yeah it's not it's like a, a harshful condition no, so it's no, just no, a no. welcoming person who's mm-hmm. trying to mm-hmm. understand and listen to you and, and uh, for, to for yeah and another thing for a refugee who want to come like you said yeah. if you know that you are coming to us make yeah. sure you have at least something you know yeah. uh, if you have somewhere you worked yeah make sure you have that uh because they're gonna make you a resume so yeah. make sure you have at least a list of the places where you yeah. work yeah. Uh, even those things that people just little relate. experiences yeah, and, yeah. Uh, even working at home mm-hmm. taking care of babies at home in africa in yeah. europe in yeah. uh, whatever you might be in middle east that yeah. that's a job here yeah. they consider as experience of working because so this is you but, already know but that. this is on the person particularly at the age always but work yeah someone you know, who is who 18, be employed. Yeah, 18, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 18 or over 18 yeah. that 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 person have to to attend all this training and uh, mm-hmm. english class english yeah. class is for everybody but basically uh for employment yeah. unless you are 18 other than that you have to go to school because mm-hmm. they will train you they will register your kids yeah. to school mm-hmm. they they will show you how you can communicate with school yeah. they will show you how you can take uh, i mean kids at school yeah. uh, basically they try to uh, make you uh, integrate Getting in the, in the life, into american the life, life. The american life mm-hmm. basic life and all that so i think i have triggered a couple of like differences between these two uh, immigrants greek and holders refugees refugees they have like pretty big and advan- advantages of like getting settled and then everything is done on their mm-hmm. on their behalf prior to their arrival even yeah. as a fact and also so there is let's say you mentioned something getting signed like signing a lease mm-hmm. for your rent yeah right mm-hmm. for, for for the green card holders for me for instance mm-hmm. You will not be able to sign a lease the first day you land here. No, because yeah. uh, the reason why you, you you are not going to sign a lease is because yeah. you have a host, yeah. someone who's hosting you. Yeah. Uh, uh, And of course obviously if, he and, owned and, that place or probably and, uh, that's his apartment. Uh, also the another thing is like it's because you just landed you don't have history in the US so if they run the background check in the system you're nowhere. Mm-hmm. You know. Even for refugees so, the reason why they give them the apartment mm-hmm. or the hotel or anything yeah. uh, that agency that uh, yeah. uh help them yeah. they're the one putting on uh, so their, their, their credit. 
Cosigners, right? They, 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 they are like a cosigners. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, th- that was like basically why I wanted to po- pinpoint because mm-hmm. like, yes, you come here as a refugee, everything is settled, you get in a hotel or they help you getting a lease. But for us, it's it's different. This host needs to give you this information, helps you and host you for a couple of months. Mm-hmm. And this couple of months, you need to be working. You need to be earning. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because they're not going to run a background chain then find you hey no income nothing so you disqualify to rent an apartment ba- basically basically yeah. and another thing it's the same thing mm. when you are coming as a refugee same thing if you know that you want to go to school make sure yeah. you have your your paperwork all of yeah. them all yeah. the transcript all your degrees anything that mm. related to school bring it with you yeah. don't don't just come feel yeah. like everything will be all right no. exactly yeah bring it so like but maybe before we wrap up what are the basic like steps should you take by the time you land here uh first thing you have to uh let, let's say in general make sure you know the place yeah. uh a place where you live it's better to know where you can get a bus yeah uh, it's a pl- it's it's better idea to know the store you to, where you yeah, can you buy need to some know the food city and close by locations. yeah another thing you need to have a phone bro yeah. make sure you bring your phone <laughs> even if you have uh like a simple phone but you know yeah. that it might get uh get the internet yeah. uh, bring it with you uh unless you have uh, a family member that you think yeah. he will need it more than you but i i, I prefer that you bring it to avoid any struggle because that might <laughs> right. make you like Spe- struggle. Speaking about the phone, do you know some <laughs> smartphones don't work in the US? Uh, <laughs> there's there's the, some there's some yeah. there are some uh, yeah. phones that they can't yeah. work here. Yeah, so mm-hmm. you have to keep that in mind as well. So that's another another topic maybe. Okay, okay. Because <laughs> like this country, some devices may not work in terms of connectivity and uh, transmitting information. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So make sure you have this uh, type of uh, Samsungs, uh, iPhones, uh, uh, ZTE. Sometimes may not gonna work, uh, yeah. but. Uh, that's that's not a topic for today but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but make sure yeah. you have a device make sure you bring your computer if you have a computer don't just leave yeah. it because feeling like oh yeah i'm going to us everything yeah. is there no everything is not and, here and a piece of advice for like green card uh, uh selectees please stay in touch with your host before you even plan to come here oh, man. as long as you get your selection paperwork or so like you know Please stay informed, stay in touch, because things change every single minute. Yeah, there is a lot of things that we might not say in this video, but please put in the comment yeah. because uh, to mo- uh, the next topic will be only based on the comment, the questions that yeah. you guys are gonna ask. So it might be from all the green card holder yeah. selection yeah. steps. It might be from a uh, refugee yeah. status. Yeah. It might be from uh, maybe what things uh, like uh, Gloria was saying. Yeah. So if you have a question and you feel like you need to know, or maybe you already here, you yeah. want to know, I mean, you want to uh, tell us what we forgot because we, we yeah, can't, yeah. obviously we cannot we talk, about uh, everything. talk everything. And so The main reason for this show, guys, is just helping you people trying to come here and settle down and soon or later we're gonna have to be having some host you know who mm-hmm. made it in life and then came on the same way as we came guys and we're gonna have different people especially just for like sharing their stories people who have been here for 20 years mm-hmm. 15 years so, five years yeah basically you know? the main purpose here we want to bring the success stories yeah. we wanted to bring people who already in the education platform mm-hmm. we want to bring people who already own companies we want to bring people who already in school we want to bring people who already here like we're going to bring people who came as a refugee who mm-hmm. came as a green card holder even if if you are not uh, achieving yet something, but, yeah, you, but you, you have experience. You're, you're already integrated in the system. Yeah, you now. already know what's going on like here. now you have a line of life, you know. Yeah, like I'm, yeah, I'm moving yeah. from point A to B yeah, until you, I get to E. Uh-huh. Yeah. Basically, you, you can even give your testimony of how you are doing. Yeah. Somebody else might need to know exactly. or might need to copy probably from your, yeah. from, from your plan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I think uh, you guys, uh, thank you so much for just following us on this uh, mm-hmm. episode and this show. And I think that was like almost everything for today. Yeah, basically, if you feel like there is something missing, of course, the next episode, it's going to be only about struggles, what we need. Yeah. And if we get a chance, we might have uh, a, a guest in our studio. Mm-hmm. So uh, stay, in, stay tuned. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This is Precision TV. Uh, it's all opinion matters. Uh, if you have an, any opinion, uh, Precision TV, we take it. Uh, we're going to talk over. We're going to go over it. And, and I think uh, as far as we are going, we want to make sure all immigrants are very successful yeah, in the U.S. Definitely, because that's that's what we struggle here. You know, uh, We've been here as just uh, immigrants, but we, the, all in all, what we need is a success in our lives because we need to change life of ours and our colleagues and our fellow friends. Right? And if you're following us and you feel like you have any testimony, any uh, success story, or any testimony that oh you want to share, please, please, uh, please yeah. put just in a comment. We yeah. can call you. We can make an appointment. Then we we, we can share your story with the others. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So I think uh, you guys, uh, thank you so much for mm-hmm. following us, and thank you so much for your con- uh, your thoughtful contributions, oh, and yes. comments, oh, and yes. your views. I think I'll see you next time. Uh huh. See you next time, and I hope you guys enjoy the show. And welcome again for the next uh, episode.